Yo, people, how's it going? How's it going, people? Ryan here. And I have some amazing, interesting news. If you, not may have, if you may have not known, there was an anime called Vampire Hunter D. Basically, it used to be a novel. It ran for like 20-something issues. And this was back in 1985, if I recall. But, let me tell you this. Apparently, there's a new Vampire Hunter D anime planned out. So, that's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that because... I really enjoyed, I haven't read the novels, but I remember when watching the OVAs, and I have to say the animation is freaking beautiful for a, for a freaking, um, for a, what, an OVA animated movie that was like 20 to 15 years old back in the 80s. I like the, I mean, animation is good, but I'm not talking about the, um, the anime, um, what's it called, the, 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 the art style. It's like lifelike, you know, old school, you know how old school anime used to be not so deformed, and, but more like human-like? Just check out, just just Google search Vampire Hunter D and you'll see what I'm talking about, but I am freaking, this is, this is awesome. It's already, it's, it's planned out, so it is going to happen. So they're just getting all their stuff together. Um, basically, let me tell you this right here. Um, 30 years after Toyu Ashida adapted Yuki Kitchkis, or oh man, I'm butchering these names, Vampire Hunter D's. Um, Vampire Hunter D is a dark feature science fiction romance, proto-light novel. It was created into an OVA, and then 15 years later after that, Yoshiaki Kawajiri adapted them into a second anime feature. Whew. The Vampire Hunter D is returning to anime. Uh... Unified Pictures had revealed plans for a new CG CG animated series co-produced with Japanese CGI. So basically, it's gonna look like let's see, uh, Resident Evil Degeneration if you any of y'all saw that movie, or like um, Tekken Blood Vengeance. Inter interesting enough, the same studio that's doing Mighty Number no. Nine. If y'all know about this, Mighty Number no. Nine, it's also getting an anime cartoon series. I think it's more towards the younger kids, but it's CGI also, but, yeah, that's how the art style's gonna look in the anime, or the, yeah, the style, so, pretty interesting, and if they keep the tone of how they look from the past with the CGI look, then I will check that out, or oh, regardless, I'm gonna check it out, it's just, I wasn't, like, usually, I never expect, I never expect them to be going back, bringing old stuff back, because usually they'll just, Reminisce with the current stuff. But they're actually going really far back. Because this is like 30 years old. The novels came out 30 years. From what I'm checking out right now. But yeah. So that's an interesting tidbit. I'm looking forward to it. Add it to my collection whenever it comes out. Shoot. If it's possible. You know how they are. Because the novels they are kind of difficult to get. Maybe when the anime comes out, they'll start reproducing the novels again. Try to make them a little bit cheaper so I can put my hands on them. But that's all I have for y'all today. If you like what I have to say, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Please comment. Have any of y'all seen Vampire Hunter D? They have their Blu-rays. They have Blu-rays out for them. You can get them on what Amazon or some other places. I don't know. A little pricey, but shoot. Classics. Those are animes from the past. Expand your mind and watch those amazing things. But yeah, name's Ryan, and I'll see y'all later. Take care.